let's bring on your opponent, the opponent for the gentleman, Jim Haas. He's Emilio Pestrana from Mexico City. Emilio, come on in. Emilio, how are you? Very good. I'm pretty excited to be here and, you know, knowing uh, how to play this, this is new game. Well, I'll tell you what, it is a new game and it's a lot of fun. Do you like, let me ask you a question. Do you like uh, poker? Oh, yeah, definitely. Do you like pool? Of course. Well, then I'll tell you what, this is definitely the game for you here. Now, I'll tell you what, Jim is on a roll. He's won five in a row. He's won almost $2,000 here. What is your strategy going into this match? Well, I know that this is a, a gentleman who has been, uh, you know, on, on, on uh, defeated. He has a lot of luck and he, has, he applies a really good strategy, but I have, I'm bringing my own right now. You're bringing your own strategy. Are you going to give us any hints of what that strategy might be? Uh, probably playing towards the, the upper the, the, the upper side of the table? Yeah, the upper side of the table. That would be my, my best uh, thought. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Emilio. We'll definitely see how that strategy works out for you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, it looks like we're just about set. So we're going to head right on over to our betting table where Andrea is going to give them, let them pick their own card to see who will break. It looks like Jim has picked his card. He ends up with the nine of clubs, nine of clubs for Jim, and a two of spades for Emilio. That means Jim gets a break. And I'm going to tell you what, that could spell doom for Emilio as Jim has pocketed two balls in each of the breaks he's had so far here today. Let's get this game of poker pool started. Jim, you're up. Okay, let's see what we can do. And it looks like, oh, before we start, Jim, let me interrupt you real quick. We almost forgot again the ante, the $5 ante to start each game. Thank you for reminding me. So, Emilio, we go, go ahead and get uh, your ante in as well. $5 ante is on the table. Let's play poker pool. All right. So, it looks like Jim is dialed in and ready to go. He has won five in a row, and he has a very nice break. He does pocket yet another ball. Oh, wait, we got another one dribbling, and it falls. He pockets two more. Now, I'll tell you what, that's three games and six balls off of breaks for Jim Haas. He is yeah, on a the roll. Nine of hearts and the ace of hearts. We've got the nine of hearts and the ace of hearts for player one. That's the gentleman, Jim Haas. He is on the board. Nine of hearts and the ace of hearts. Now let's go ahead and go back to the betting table as we get everything set up here. $25. And it looks like Jim is betting $25. So Emilio, there's your uh, stack here. We've got 25 to you. He sees the 25s that gives us 50 in the pot. $50 to start us off. Jim has won over $2,000 here in his five games. Let's see where he goes next. He had a great, great break. What is this? That's the nine of spades. The king of spades. Uh, king of hearts. King of hearts there on the top corner pocket. That's my next He's calling the king of hearts. In that corner top corner pocket. He strikes and strikes it well, but it does not go in. But I'll tell you what, he does set himself up pretty nicely for his next round. So we've got... Uh, a nice little setup there for the gentleman, Jim Haas. Now, Emilio's got his shot. He's up, and he's got a lot of options. Two balls have been pocketed, the ace of hearts and the nine of hearts. So Emilio's definitely got a wide open uh, table there, can do many number of things. He can block them. He can go and try to develop his own hand also. Just depends. He's going to call the jack of hearts in the, in the top corner pocket. Top right corner pocket's coming right at you. Let's see how he goes. He's dialed in there. He strikes it, strikes it a little too hard, comes back and gets him, <laughs> but it does not fall. He's got a, a left the table still wide open for Jim. With and Jim does have two on the board. He's got the ace of hearts and the nine of hearts. And you know, let's go ahead and uh, see where Jim goes. It looks like he's oh, he, he molded over his options quickly. He got the ace of uh, the queen of hearts. He's called in the top corner pocket. He hits it, hits it, hits it nice and light, but it does not fall, does not go in, which leaves the board wide open for Emilio. And you know what? Emilio still got a wide open board. Only two balls have been pocketed. So Emilio will have to see where he goes. It looks like he's mulling over his options, seeing where he can go, seeing what's maybe going on in his head. Remember, his strategy was to keep the balls all the way at the other end of the table. And right now, that's where they're at. So we'll see where he goes. He is calling the king of spades in the top right uh, corner pocket. He's focused. He's ready. 
He hits it, hits it a little too hard, a little too straight, <laughs> and he actually pockets the cue ball. He scratches on the cue ball, nothing for him to pull out, but it does give Jim the ball in hand behind the second marker. Jim, it is up to you. Oh, did he sink a Did he? Oh, he did sink a ball. Excuse me, he actually sank the nine of spades, but it does not count as he did scratch. So that ball comes out, comes back onto the table. And now it is up to Jim to decide where he wants to go. He's calling the ten of hearts in the corner pocket. It looks like he's ready. He strikes it, he strikes it well. Get out a nice strike, he pockets the ten of hearts in that top right or left, top left corner pocket and we're going back to the betting table where jim gets to place another he bet, bet. $50. he bets fifty dollars so it's fifty dollars to emilio emilio sees the 50 which puts 150 dollars into the pot it's up to jim he's got an ace of hearts a nine of hearts and a ten of hearts he's got a possible flush going let's see where he goes he's had a chance to look over the table to see where he wants to go it looks like he's got two hearts lined up in a row down here at the head of the table. Let's see where he goes. I'm going to try to hit the king of hearts into the jack of hearts and sink the jack in that Okay, box. he's calling a combination king of hearts to the jack of hearts to sink the jack in the top right corner. So many things that could happen here. Let's see how it goes for Jim. He strikes it, strikes it well, and you know what? It ricocheted in and out, almost went in, but it not quite enough English on that. It hits one bank, hits the other, does not go in. Let's get a word here with Jim while Emilio is looking over the table. Now, I'll tell you what, Jim, you're off to another fast start, a possible flush going on. What's your strategy right now? Well, that's my strategy. I want to get a flush, yes. And um, I, you know, the jack was just a little bit blocked that time, so um, I was unlucky there, but I still feel confident. Well, I'll tell you what, you're playing great, and a flush is definitely not a bad hand to have. <laughs> okay. Good luck to you. Let's see, it looks like Emilio's all set up. I'm going to try to sink the, the king of spades on that pocket. Okay, he's calling the king of spades down here to the bottom left corner pocket. He's got a, a great line for it, so let's see what happens for him. Strikes, it strikes well. Looks like it's Good in, and it, it is in. A nice shot for Emilio. He pockets the king of spades. So let's go to the betting table where it is Emilio's turn to bet. There's about about $150 here in the pot, and it's up to Emilio to start our next round of betting. Okay, he calls $30 in the pot. I call. And Jim calls. That's going to bring us up to about $210 in the pot. $30 bet. Jim sees it. So let's see where Emilio goes now. He's just pocketed the king of spades. So he could go a number of different ways here. He's got a possible uh, flush, royal flush, pair of kings. But he's actually has called the joker in the top left corner. It looks like he's eyeing that option there. He's set. He's dialed in. He looks focused, ready on that joker. He strikes it, strikes it well, strikes it a little too straight, a little too hard. It hits off one embankment to the other and does not fall for him, which leaves a nice table set up for the gentleman, Jim Haas, who has won five, in a, five games in a row. Five games in a row for those of you who are just joining us. I'll tell you what, that means he's had five winning poker hands in a row. You can't beat that. So we'll see where he goes here. Strategy, he's been playing great. Jim has called the jack of hearts in the top corner pocket. Okay. So jack let's see. He's got some obstructions there, but... It could have a really good shot here. He strikes it, strikes well, but a, not quite angled enough as it ricochets off the carom and does not go in. So it brings Emilio back up, and I tell you, it looks like Emilio's ready to go. It looks like he's been thinking about this shot as he's calling the ace in the side pocket. The ace in the side right pocket. Strikes it, strikes it well, but a little bit too much English on it as it hits the embankment, does not go in. I'll tell you what, Emilio's got a king on the board, but he's not quite uh, hitting those pockets like he wants to, leaving the table wide open for Jim Haas yet again. And I'll tell you what, Jim, he's won five in a row. He's playing great. He's been our poker pool champion so far here. He's calling the, the queen here in the bottom left corner pocket. He strikes it, strikes it well. He pockets the queen. He's got the queen of hearts. 
He's got a possible flush going for himself. Let's go back to the betting table here. $50. He bets another $50, which is gonna bring this up to about $310. If Emilio calls, he can call, he can raise, or he can fold. So it's $50 to you, Emilio. $50. $50. And he calls the $50. He wants to stay in this game. So $50 to Emilio. He puts it in there. Now it's up to Jim. Can he finish off his flush? I'm going to try this jack again in that corner pocket. He's calling the jack of hearts in the top right corner pocket. That jack has just been trouble all day long for him today. But he sits it, he strikes it, and once again, you know what? That jack just seems to elude him just a little bit as it caroms off the right side and does not go in. Let me get a word here with Jim. I'll tell you what, Jim, that jack's just been giving you trouble all day today. What's, what is it with the jack today? I think, I think it's angry with me because I've been calling it the king. And, uh, uh, but uh, I don't know. One of these times I may make it. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll have to see how the game unfolds for you. Okay, thanks. It looks like Emilio said he's calling Calling the jack of spades in the top corner pocket, that would give him a king and a jack if he sinks it. And he hits it, hits it well. Nice shot for Emilio. He sinks it, the cue ball stays out. He does not scratch. So we're gonna be heading back to the, uh, the betting table where Emilio is gonna make his bet. He now has two cards on the board. He has a king of spades and a jack of spades. He's kind of got his own little royal flush possible going. So let's see where he goes. What, kind of, what are you thinking right now, Emilio, as far as your betting goes? I think that I'm gonna raise my bet and I'm gonna make 50. $50, it's a $50 to the gentleman Jim Haas. And he calls it 50 more dollars, so that puts it at about $300 in the pot. So many things going on. You have uh, almost $300 in the pot. And we're gonna go back to the game as Emilio has called the ace of space down here in the bottom left corner pocket. He's got, he's dialed in, he's ready to go. He strikes it, strikes it well, but it hits off the left side, hits the right embankment, and it does not fall for him, leaving the table open for Jim Haas. Eight in the corner pocket. Jim is calling the eight in the corner pocket. He knew what he wanted to do on this shot. Now looking at the angle, it's a little tough, but I'll tell you what, he can make it. Let's see where he goes. He strikes it, strikes well, but a little too much English, too much of an angle does not fall for him. And that leaves the table wide open for Emilio. Emilio has called his shot. He's called the ball here in the top uh, left corner, but it does not fall. Ricochets off of two embankments. I'll tell you what, let's bring Emilio in here real quick. Emilio, that ball just seems to evade you every time you hit it. What's going on? I don't know. It's uh, probably some kind of the... Of luck, I guess. <laughs> kind of luck. Well, I'll tell you what, let's see if hopefully your fortunes can change here in just a few minutes. Yeah, probably, yes. <laughs> okay, good. let's see what happens. As Jim is eyeing his table. He's getting ready to go. He's calling the eight time. in the corner pocket one more time. So we'll see what happens here. He's dialed in. He's ready to go. He strikes it, strikes it well, and he pockets the eight of hearts. That gives Jim the flush. He has a flush on the table. And you know, he does go to the betting table. We bet $50. Emilio, it's up to you. $50 to you. $50. And he calls the $50, so Emilio wants to stay in this game. Now, Emilio's in a tough spot. He's got to make three balls in five shots. So I'll tell you what, Emilio, good luck to you. You've got, you've got your chance. You can only miss twice. He's calling the joker in the top right corner. Go to our website, pokerpool.net, and you can go and own your own set of poker pool balls at home. Emilio does strike the ball. It does not hit anything. He scratches on this one, so I'll tell you what. We've got one shot left. He, if he makes a ball on this shot, the game continues. If not, then the game is over, and Jim wins yet again. So let's see what happens here. Emilio's called the nine of spades in the top corner. Strikes it, strikes it well. Hits off the side, it does not go in. That means the gentleman Jim Hodge has won again. He's won his sixth match in a row. I'll tell you what, Jim, real quick here. Six wins in a row, congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, I'll tell you what, you're on a roll. You're playing so well. What's your strategy now going into next week? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. If it's working, I'm gonna keep doing it. And it is working. And. Uh, I love the game, I love the money involved, and uh, so that's my deal. Very good, well good luck to you next week. We'll definitely see you Thank then. You.